Hello, coming to you from sunny Colorado, snowy, sunny, beautiful. I'm in shorts, actually, um, walking Lexi, just moving as much as we can. So that's my physical therapy thought for the week, I guess. I haven't posted much this week. Um, and this is coming from, I mean, it's simple concept, but I'll give credit to the FMS folks over there, uh, Gray Cook. Um, not to be confused with Gary Gray, very confusing, but he's another movement guru, uh, as they are called. But Gray Cook talks about move better and move more. That's like the simple thing that we all should be doing. So finding ways we can move better, what does that come down to real quick? Uh, an assessment by somebody, physical therapy, huh? Eh? LIU, shout out. Um, so how well do you squat, hinge, lunge, gait, run, you know, while well, that falls in there, push, pull, and twist. Those are the seven primal movement patterns. I kind of threw in the run and gait, making two of them. But uh, there's obviously progressions, regressions, lateralizations on all those fancy terms to basically say, how well do you do those seven things? And then can we advance them? Do we need to take a few steps back? And if you're not doing any of them particularly well, or one of them is deficient, it might be causing you some issues and leading to some injury. So cleaning that up should be your priority. Whoever you're working with, whether it's with a Peloton, whether it's with a personal trainer, whether it's with a physical therapist or an online coach like me, um, how well do you do those things? So that's the movement piece, move better, all right? And we can assess the quality of your movement and only then should we be loading it up and understanding your capacity. So how much do you back squat or deadlift are very, very good vital markers, just like we should be looking at your cholesterol and your blood pressure. But in terms of vital signs of health, we need to know how much your body does if we wanna be aware of your orthopedic health and avoid surgeries and avoid episodes of back pain, all right? So that's the big picture, move, better and then we can start assessing how much you're moving the quantity moving more so right now i'm out on a walk most of us should be able to walk but if you have a knee that's hurting and you're not addressing that or you have some soreness going on you played a, a round of golf yesterday and now you're walking you got a little bit of a limp something's going on we tend to ignore those little check engine lights on our car and we tend to ignore those little whispers of our body and we kind of push through it and we, we have pride and ego and all that stuff. And there's a lot of birds here. Good God, getting distracted. But anyway, that's my quick rant for the day. Hopefully some of that makes sense. If you wanna learn how to move better, make sure, again, you have somebody in your life. Again, feel free to reach out to me. It's my passion to help people move better so that you can then move more. And that is how we play that game for the rest of our lives of improving our movements. Try it out. Let me know how it goes and we'll talk. Hit me up.